Hey guys, Jan here in the North View Model Shop and we are looking at the Model Car World 41 Willis. Guys, this build was sponsored by Model Car World and their amazing products. We use their primer, we use their base silver, we use their Merca Blue, uh, and then we use their Clear. These are a lacquered base paints and they were phenomenal. They worked beautifully. Super hard finish. Uh, we were able to Novus one, two Meguiars, and um, polished it out just, just beautifully. Loved how it all turned out. So guys, if you're looking for a great paint product, put over to Model Car World and uh, pick yourself up some because great, great, great product. So let's look at what we did here. So we took the Revell 41 Willis kit. We built it up. We... Um, we built everything as stock as uh, it can get. I mean, we didn't modify the body, didn't modify anything special here. Uh, what did we do that did actually, there's a mirror on uh, the driver's side, I believe. We filled that in so there was no mirror hanging from her. Um, the engine uh, just is a great engine to begin with. So we add it to the engine with uh, Detail Master's um, uh, wire set. Uh, we also added Detail Master hoses and fittings. Um, I'm trying to think of where else we did. So then we turned around and on this side, and I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick it or not, we um, went ahead and grabbed a piece of wire, stripped it out to get uh, the really small copper wiring, and we added some uh, other kind of a faux throttle linkage uh, there. And then on this side, hopefully the camera is getting here, here we added a uh, fuel line that I believe just, uh, it might go down to nowhere. So I can't quite remember if I did that or not. And uh, the camera will pick it up. But on this side, we actually added a dipstick uh, tube and uh, end on that. So just a little bit of detailing there. Um, and it really kind of brought the engine to life. Uh, dropped on a little bit of a dark wash. Uh, just to throw a little bit of definition there. It is a driver. It doesn't sit around all the time. Um, all of the fittings and everything, or all the pulleys were uh, picked out with color uh, using the same uh, detailed master, or uh, sorry, the Model Car World colors. Um, and just kind of took it from there. Um, on the inside, we uh, we put the Northview Model Shop, uh, a little. we printed off a little uh, display and just white glued it in there and it kind of gives a little bit of a, a little bit of a fun go there. Um, put some floor mats in there and we even have our signature Dirty Magazine featuring John Holmes and uh, Christy Canyon uh, sitting on the front seat. So, you know, gotta love that stuff. Um, the tires, uh, we sprayed on some future uh, floor polish to give them the shine. After we grabbed our monocroll, um, I can't even see if it's here now. It's not. Got missing. Um, the white by a white paint marker, and uh, we gave the, the Mickey Thompson Sportsman tires a little bit of a detail before we uh, buffed them up with the uh, with the future floor polish. We obviously gave the tires a bit of a buzz on the sander to give a little bit of wear into them. Uh, it's hard to see, but underneath, nuts and bolts have been picked out. Uh, transmission covers has been painted. Uh, the, uh, the oil pan has been painted. Uh, and a little bit of wash has been applied to bit some definition. The exhaust tips were painted white uh, and then drilled out uh, so they look a little more thin and had the, uh, the inside painted black uh, to make it look a little more realistic. So, um, oh, and... And the original 41 wheels that we had built, the red uh, Casey Pittman one, came with the photo edge grill. So we had to harvest that uh, and pick that off for this build. Uh, I don't know if we'll pick this up, but we had put a K&N air filter in there. And we <laughs> used, obviously, bare metal foil for this one. And uh, just, you can't duplicate uh, that beautiful stripe and that shininess with paint. So we went with the uh, went with the uh, the BFM, BMF, and uh, it really helped uh, get that one going. Um, all chrome was stripped and then repainted. Um, so the headlight bezels aren't as shiny as I would have hoped, but uh, they did they did quite well. 
<laughs> so all in all, pretty good. Guys, as you remember from the videos, we actually lost the hood. So we uh, we showed this without the hood. Uh, so that was kind of a, a downer for us. And after the model season, the model tour season went by, we uh, happened to notice that the little bit of, uh, there was a gummies thing here. And I thought it was a flaw in the hood scoop that I missed, but at the end of the day, it was actually a piece of tape. So there's a gray spot there, and uh, it'll stay. The shows are, the model will not tend to any more shows. Locally, if we do uh, to have, decide to travel, we would have to clean that up and repaint that portion of it, which uh, if that day comes, that day will come. But during Christmas this year, we were uh, touring around and cleaning up, and what did we find? We found the hood. The hood was lost in one of the kids' crafts bins. And believe it or not, it's not that damaged. Um, it just shows you how great that paint system is and how tough and resilient it is. Uh, we have to do uh, the BMF, the bare metal foil. And once we get that done, we will have, um, we'll be able to display with the hood. So, uh, had a great time with this model. It built up really, really well. And um, the paint system, the model car world paint system was phenomenal. So guys, thanks for tuning into this build uh, to see it through the finish. Uh, don't forget to get over to the Northview Model Shop on Facebook. Look up Northview Model Shop on Instagram. And uh, make sure you subscribe, click the notification bells. Uh, all that fun jazz on social media, guys. We love having you, love hanging out, love models. So, guys, thanks for tuning in. Adios.